Hello everyone, myself Kushi of class 12. Today I am going to tell you about the experiment two plants and two animals that are found in aquatic condition. First of all, we will be talking about two plants. Here I will be telling you about Hydrilla and Ecornia. Hydrilla is also known as water theme. It is a submerged hydrophyte found attached to the substratum by adventitious roots in fresh water. Hydrophytes are the plants which are only grows, which only grows in water or on water found attached to the substratum. Substratum means underlying substratum, which is which is like by adventitious roots in fresh water ponds. Adventitious roots means roots that form from any known root tissue. Roots in fresh water ponds. The stem is soft. Here you can see this is stock. This is this stem is so soft and thin. Slender means thin, beard thin and membranous leaves in the walls of 3 to 8. We have leaves. Walls will a set of leaves coming out from the stem at the same level. The same level to your same gap to. It limbs when taken out of the water showing the absence of any mechanical tissue. The leaves are arranged in such a way that to provide least resistance to the flow of water. Resistance means least to recover the pani ke bahav ko. Isko kam roke. Rok ti to hai, but kam roke. Zada pani ka bahav rok na pai. They lack cutile and stomata. Cutile ka matlab protective or hard covering. Inki ko protective or hard covering nahi hoti. Ye to khud hi itni softer patli hoti hai. The whole plant is covered by mucilage. Mucilage means gum like substance. It prevents desiccation of the plant. Desiccation means drying out of living organism. कि किसी चीज को बाहर निकालना है जैसे कि एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स को हम बाहर निकालते हैं ना तो ऐसे इसको ये इस चीज को प्रिवेंट करता है कि इसको हम पानी से बाहर नहीं निकाल सकते एंड इट इज आल्सो इट आल्सो प्रिवेंट्स एपिफाइटिक ग्रोथ एपिफाइटिक ग्रोथ मींस दैट ग्रो ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ प्लांट ये उस चीज को भी वो करता है एंड प्रोटेक्ट द प्लांट्स अगेंस्ट द रोटिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ वाटर रोटिंग का जनरली मींस होता है डिके बाय द एक्शन ऑफ फंगी और बैक्टीरिया ये उस चीज को भी क्या करता है प्रिवेंट करता है दिस इज द एग्जांपल this is the picture of hydrilla now we will be talking about ecornia it includes water hyacinth and jalkundi water hyacinth is also known as terror of bengal <clears throat> this is a diagram of water hyacinth it is a free floating plant hydrophyte hydrophyte that grows only in water or on water that grows in pond and clay water that is containing fresh water this stem is modified and is called offset isme kuch aisa hota hai jisse dam mein yahan ye plant hai iske beech mein ye hai ye fir ye plant hua to jo beech wala hota hai isko bola jata hai offset That grows prostrate below the surface of water. और ये जो इसके offset होती है ना ये grow करती है surface के नीचे. जैसे कि ये ये surface हो गया पानी का इसके नीचे grow करेगी. The stem is spongy, stores air that provides buoyancy uh, to the plant to float on the surface of water. Buoyancy का मतलब इसको flow, to float. Leaves are thick, waxy, rounded and glossy and rise well above the water surface on stalk. और अच्छे से वो rise कर जाते हैं. This so this was all about Ecornia. Now we will be talking about two animals, labio and collidon. Labio rohita is also known as carp because it belongs to carp family. It is also known as rohu, and Bengali love to call it uh, this fish as rohi. Labio rohita is a freshwater fish. It is a common fish food. The body color is dark greenish black with orange tint. Here in this picture you can observe it. orange fish and orange orange fin and dark greenish uh, dark greenish color black color its body is spindle shaped and streamlined and literally compressed to reduce friction and to allow swift movement in water while swimming spindle shaped like boat streamlined and literally compressed literally compressing literally flat to reduce friction and to allow swift flow in water while swimming the body is divided into three parts here you can observe head trunk and tail 
the body is covered with water impermeable scales known as stenoid or cycloid scales to prevent osmotic entry of water in the body it possesses fins that help in swimming it ke fins hote hain dekhiye mere fins kitne sare fin hai dorsal fin pectorical fin pelvic fin anal fin hai na coidal fin bahut sare fin hai to ye fin kya karte hain इसको हेल्प करते हैं किसी स्विमिंग में इट हैज एन एयर ब्लेडर और स्विम ब्लेडर विच गिव्स बॉयसी टू दिस बॉयसी मीन्स टू फ्लोट इट प्रोजेस इज गर्ल्स एज अ ऑर्गन ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन फॉर द एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेज इन एयर सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट लेजर ऑफ इटा नाउ वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट स्कॉलीडॉन विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज डो फिश और इंडियन शार्क it is a marine water fish scolidon has elongated spindle shaped body tapered at both and making it a fast swimmer the both dono end se tapered hai isi wajah se un dono tapping ki wajah se ye fast uh, swimmer hai scolidon fish elongated hai lambi hai aur spindle shape hai spindle end ki boat like structure its body is streamlined and laterally compressed and has a pointed snout sharp nose sharp very snout is pointed and a snout the body is divided into head trunk and tail its mouth is located ventrally ka mouth ventrally ventrally located hai the entire body is covered with an exoskeleton made of pelcoid cells pelcoid cells to prevent osmotic entry of the water in the body osmotic means बाहर से बाहर अगर पानी का लेवल हाई है और इसकी बॉडी के अंदर लो है तो वहां से ज्यादा पानी अंदर मूव ना कर पाए तो उस चीज को भी क्या करती है फ्लैकोइल्स प्रिवेंट करते हैं सो दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट स्कॉलीडॉन और डॉग फिश और इंडियन शार्क सो थैंक यू वेरी मच दिस वाज द एक्सपेरिमेंट रिगार्डिंग टू प्लांट्स एंड टू एनिमल्स दैट आर फाउंड इन एक्वेटिक कंडीशन थैंक यू